Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European indices and starting with the German mid cap here in the bigger picture for the daily chart we're looking at uh, wave 3 over here and we're looking at an A and B and five waves down for wave C of four here. So the wave four has pulled back into our wave four of one lesser degree and we also take into consideration the trading level. So the 25,000 uh, is a medium level. So it carries a fair bit of weight. We certainly wouldn't be long unless we had that number here as support. Uh, so, um, of course, wave force can get rather complicated, so we can expect triangles, we can expect double zigzags, we, it may be simple, um, it, it, but they can get a bit complicated. But the main point here is that it has pulled back to where we wanted to see it, okay? So, um, the other point with all of this too is we have the US midterm elections and... Uh, I think those results are sort of due um, in the next half an hour or hour. So um, obviously we can expect some spikes in the market uh, here, um, well, within all markets, I guess. So um, let's move into the DAX. So with the Germany DAX here, we were looking at this in terms of also wave four to the upside in terms of an A wave, a B wave, and then five waves here for wave C or four here. This little move in here, however, um, it can be played out <coughs> um, as, as an A wave and a B wave to here or a B wave all the way over to here and a C wave here. And we could move up from, from here. Okay, so that's a real possibility. Um, even though we're expecting to move down from here, and we, we, we kind of are moving down, but not really in a nice way. But we could call this, if I can just borrow that for a moment, wave one here and wave two over here. Um, of course, I need to go one degree smaller here, but basically an ABC pattern here for down for one, ABC for two, and then looking down for three, uh, coming down into this space. So um, we need to be uh, a little bit mindful here. So we need a bit of tactics here. So with that in mind, if I can just stretch this uh, open here a little bit, we can start to break down our setup. So from the top to the bottom here, our 50-60% retracement level is in here. So wave two can come back to that space here okay so we need to be mindful um, of that um, so we wouldn't really you wouldn't want to go long um, unless we had the top of the 61.8 percent as the support here okay so um, which brings us into the closest largest number so realistically we wouldn't be able to go long unless we had the 11,600 as the support, okay? So I think that because the election is coming in, and I'll allow those to come into play, um, on the short side, if this low here is breached, then um, by all means look for further downside. But there is a possibility that this can, can move higher from here, and of course we would have to label that differently, um, and labelling that differently... We could do that with these guys here. So this would be wave one here. This would be wave two here. I'll just put them on top of there, give them equal billing. And this would be wave three here. This would be wave four here and would look for wave five to the upside. This would give us five waves to the upside. So if that is the case, then we can expect an A and a B and a C wave back here after five waves to the upside and then further to the upside from that point. So just bear that in mind. So let's just allow these midterms to um, to uh, to move out of the way. Um, we have been looking at the AEX, so I'd still like to do that as well. But it's the same case here as well. We've got an A and a B and five waves up here for wave C of four. However, this looks like an ABC correction here, so we could push up higher from here. So, um, yeah, we can go uh, just, I just haven't seen a five minute chart for a while. So, um, yeah, so from this move up here, we'd still see higher ground here anyway, because you can see we've got one and two, a nice strong third wave here, fourth wave here. So there'd be a fifth wave here. So even if this was some type of A, B 
and one, two, three, four, five for C wave would still come into this space here as well. Um, of course, it can push higher after that. It could come back and then push higher, um, or it can just drop lower from this point. So um, we need to allow that to play out here. And also, too, while we're here, we'll just look at, you can see how the A, the B, yeah, here it is here. So, whoops, a daisy. I still need that too, sorry. I'll just put that in there first. And in fact, we take it from this level here. So this is really the 61.8% mark in here for that. So that's why that's going to struggle there. That's why it is struggling there. Um, so yeah, we just really need this little bit to play out. So let's just allow that to play out there. I will clean this up here because I don't use a five minute chart much and I like to keep it as messy. as I am being a bloke I still like to keep things sort of manageable there and I probably won't come back to that five minute chart but um, yeah so that brings us into the footsie and it's the same thing here as well the footsie's come off um, nicely so we're looking at this as an A and a B and one and two and three and four and five here for um, wave C or four um, like I say it could get out of hand and go higher but I don't want to see this wave four here go any higher because it, this is the wave four of one lesser degree over here would be too far out of play at that particular point so I don't know if we need to um, we'll just stay where we are at the moment <clears throat> so first of all we should be short under this okay so if you're short under that then the stop um, needs to be um, well, if the market moves back above 7,100, <clears throat> then we'll be going long from that point. But this could also count as an A and a B and a C wave here. The C wave it doesn't appear to be finished yet. So one and two here, three here, A, B, C for four. So we should see one more little move down. So I think that what we could do here is just take um, part profit here on this, if that's going to be the case for you. So... Um, take part profit close to the 7,000 here um, or if not all profit um, and we'll just see how we go from that point. If if we've only got three waves to the 61.8% mark well then there's a real possibility that we can move up from here uh, and we'd have to look at this as being um, copy that and being B here. We can always pick up the short trade again to uh, along the 7,000 here because when it comes down to the 7 it's going to bounce back up um, it could go a bit higher than that, but then if it came down through here again, then we can use this one here to short, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, just take it off the table here and bring that down to break even here at least anyway. Um, and uh, if for whatever reasons we move up from this point, then be long on um, on the 7,100 area because then it would start to make this as an A and a B and a C correction here. And that means that we would take out this top here and we would need to reevaluate that. And this is the same for, for France as well. We've been bringing France into the fold. So in this case here, what I've done is I've labeled it differently on the hourly chart in terms of wave one here and wave two here one and two and three and four and five here because this would be the other count here an A and a B and a C here so if this low gets taken out here then you need to be short at that point if this top here gets taken out you can be long from that point because we'd be going up to the five five thousand two hundred close to that at that particular point and then we'd see an ABC correction so um, let's just let the midterm slide on uh, for, for now and we'll pick up the pieces um, thread after after that's uh, come about. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, look, um, if, if, if we do end up with five waves up here, then we know where we are in the in the picture because at least at that point if we've got five here then we'll get a correction then we'll get another five if we get five here after a correction we'll get another five so that's the good news we just got to get past this point um of in this whole rally with all of these european markets do we have this as an abc to the upside or are we going to get five waves it's as simple as that and there's times when you know and times when you don't know and um and you just need to work with that. I mean, after all, Elliott Wave is is just another indicator, um, and they can fault. So you need 
you know, you need backup, you need to gather evidence and strength, and that's why we use the trading levels as support and resistance to shore that wave count up. We should do the MIB while we're here. Um, I'm thinking of swapping the MIB for the Spanish market, so um, if if that upsets you, then let me know and we can st we can stay with the MIB as well. But I do find it hard to count. Um, in this case here, we were looking for, basically we're looking for a first target here um, at 9,500. So we've reached that. We were looking for a pullback. We haven't pulled back as much as um, expected. We still could because it looks like it's one and two here and three and four and five here. It looks like five waves here. Um, but that means that this has really got to stop at this point here and pull down from that point there as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave moving lower in this space here. Um, but it has moved up in a very impulsive way. So um, it's likely to move uh, higher from this point. Um, and in doing that, um, this is the closest largest number here, 19.4. So you really want to make sure that, um, that you've got a nice support on top of that um, 9.4 area here. You can see here, just on the five minute chart here, that's one and two and three and four and five. So it looks like five waves here. We have come above the 61.8% mark here, like, um, well, but that's okay. I mean, it still can be wave two here, but we're not, it doesn't look like a corrective wave here. And I can also see two from this little structure here, we've got one and two and three and four. So we're gonna see that pop up here as well. So it's gonna bring us up. You're going to end up being up at 19.5 here. That's the, um, that's the area, um, you know, if, if I was going to go along here, then it would be done on 19,300 here, and I would be trading to 500 and getting out at that point. Um, so any further long trades in here at this particular point would need that 500 as a nice tested support um, in that space here. So um, obviously there's going to be, you know, um, resistance all amongst these old highs here. So um, yeah, we just need to see uh, what the midterms do. And um, with this here as well, of course, if this moves up to here, we're going to get some sort of reaction from here and then we may be able to pick up the long trade from that point otherwise um, it will be the arrival uh, the reaction the first high above the level and then a correction over here and then we need to go long over this side over here so a long way off from um, from this particular point in time Alrighty, um, I'm just going to leave it at that because the midterms could really shake the markets around depending on um, who gets the Senate and the House and so on and so on, you know. So we'll let that come what may. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.